we go. So, Winston has gotten big. He's a year now, as of yesterday. He's become a pretty awesome little studio pup, and uh, we've been on lots of adventures together. He's learned some pretty sweet new tricks. He likes canoeing. I'm not allowed to take him mountain biking yet, but soon. Hey? And he likes music, obviously. And then... Sorry, what? No, no, yeah, it's an update video. Well, no, I know. Uh, yeah, I know I know that it's a music channel, but... Yeah, yeah, but everybody likes dogs. But they... Come on, they want to know... They want to know how he's doing. Okay, fine. If you've been following the channel for a while, you've probably noticed that I haven't been around. I haven't put out a video since June. The last thing I did was the How Many Guitars Do You Need video, and then I just fell off the face of the earth uh, with no word. Basically, I hit a point of complete burnout where I was exhausted, I had a bit of a health scare, and because I was so burnt out uh, and my mental health had definitely taken a bit of a hit, the health scare was exacerbated and I just, I really needed some time off. Although it was a really rough summer, I'm happy to say I took the time I needed and I spent time with family, I spent time outside as much as I could, making lots of coffee. Um, yeah, seriously, I just pulled an espresso shot on my desk. Uh, I know it's no Peter McKinnon shot, but it tasted pretty good. So I started feeling better in the early fall, but because I had taken a couple of months off uh, to just tend to my health, things really piled up. I had to get back into the swing of teaching. I had a record to finish. Gigs were popping up and this just got put to the back burner. Although I'm happy to say I'm feeling a lot better. I'm all caught up on everything and I'm super ready to get back to this and really excited to share some new things with you guys. So I have lots of content planned. You can expect the regular kinds of videos. I wanna be sharing some different thoughts on gear, obviously with a minimalist spin to them. I did just recently do a purge, so if you did watch the last video on how many guitars do I need, I sold the electric, the Greco. It hurt because it was a really cool guitar, but I wasn't using it. Um, and I did pick up another acoustic. So in the video I mentioned, four electrics, three acoustics. That's like my sweet spot. Um, I'm there, I love it. It's working out great so far. I do have a couple of loners still, um, but you know, those could go away at any point, so I don't count those. Getting back into the swing of teaching in September is always really inspiring. I love working with people, trying to develop their guitar skills, and it always inspires all kinds of really cool uh, content for this channel. I'm seeing a lot of people who want to improve on their improvisation and need to understand how the fretboard and scales work and how everything kind of comes together. So you can expect some videos on that. And I'm working on my first guitar course, which is going to be released sometime in 2022. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on the channel and I'll be sharing some of that content here as well. I want to get some vlogs happening, take you guys out to some gigs and recording sessions. I've also got some friends in the area who own studios that are also rather minimalistic. I want to take you guys through there to show you what they're doing that's different than what I'm doing. Hopefully maybe that can spark some ideas for you guys with your own setups at home um, with different gear and how they use it, how they get the most out of each piece of gear, uh, things like that. Aside from the regular music content, I'm super excited to share with you guys my experience making a living in music, living in Northern Ontario, Canada. If you don't know where that is, just take a look. So I'll put the map right here. Okay, so from there you just gotta go, yeah, go north. Yeah, keep going north. More. Yeah, okay, keep, yeah, no, still, yeah. No, I know. I know that seems, but it seems far. I know, but keep going. Okay. Yep. Yeah, right about there and a little more. Okay, great. Zoom in right there. Okay, right there. Perfect. Um, yeah, so this is not where you'd expect any sane musician to live on purpose. I promise I do. I'm not here in witness protection or anything. This is where I choose to live. I did live in Toronto for a while and I found it just wasn't for me. Uh, I didn't love the lifestyle and, and everything associated with being down there. And strangely enough, it wasn't until I moved back here that I actually caught my first couple of breaks uh, that led to where I am today uh, and led me to have the career that I do. 
If you've made it this far in the video, thank you guys for watching. I super appreciate it. And if you want to get more involved in the channel, in the community I'm trying to build here, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what kind of content you guys would like to see. I want to know what kind of problems you guys have because I'm interested in helping you get the most out of your musical experience. So if you're stuck with some sort of theory question or some sort of technique question, literally anything related to the guitar, making music, be it a practice setup, a practice schedule, drop me a line down below, let me know, and maybe I'll make a video about it. Another way to support the channel right now is you can reach out and you can book a session with me. I'm offering one hour private sessions where we can do a guitar lesson, we can talk about how to set up a practice schedule, again, literally anything about guitar. Again, literally anything related to guitar or music. I'm happy to chat, happy to help you out. I'm also happy to chat with you first and figure out if I'm the right person for the job. I'm also doing session work remotely currently, so if you're looking for some guitar or bass or mandolin on a track of yours, feel free to drop me a line and we can chat about that. The other thing I do is I love to work with singer-songwriters to help them produce their songs and to bring them to life. It can be a real small-scale production like guitar and vocals, or it can be something a little bit bigger where we bring other instrumentalists in on the project. If you're looking for something like that, also feel free to drop me a line. I've got my email address down below. So to wrap it up, I just want to take some time and thank you guys as always. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your time and attention in such a noisy world. It really means a lot to me and I'm super, super excited to be back making some content. Can't wait to hear from you guys. And until next time, I hope you get out there and find some time to make some music. I still have bacon in my hand from when I had the dog earlier. Oh.